let me slow up the, the forward motor and let's find out what is biting here. You need to slow up, man. Slow up. We'll put you on one. Okay, let's see what's on this line here. Uh, that's how it is, folks. I'm trying to still get it together today. And it's like, man, y'all over there messing with my pole. Messing with my reel. Turn that noise off. Okay. And you see how I got this big mammoth rod and reel. I'm telling you, dude. Shoot. If something big jump on this baby, you know I got it. Shoot, this is deep sea. This is for real. I'm not I'm not baby fishing out here. I'm three, four hundred feet out past the boat. Shoot. I'm out so doggone far. I might as well be in another town fishing. Alright. Let's see what we have. What we got? Not very big if it is something. Yeah, he pulling. He pulling on me. Alright. Oh, oh shit. He came off. He came off just as he got up to the boat. Son of a gun. He came off. That's what I get for messing around. But also, um, it's a lot of line. I should have kept attention on. But once I noticed it was on, I, I messed around. Okay, folks. Uh, let me get back out here fishing. Quit messing around, huh? You know, let's see, hot rod. He's driving us around again. All right. Let me get out here. But I was, um, I think, what was I? Seven colors out. About 35 feet. Uh, it's 170 feet deep, and the reason I didn't go any deeper, uh-oh, it's chirping, uh-oh, there we go, okay, I see where they're at, look like they're about 50 feet right here, right here, you say, hi, Rod, are you driving, no, 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 I don't want to drive you, no, like the little preacher kids say, huh, look at that, that's what I'm pulling through, okay, let me get out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's on. It's on. Oh, this ought to be a good one here. This ought to be a good one. All right. All right, not going to lose this one, y'all. I'm not going to lose this one. All right. Okay, what we looking at? What we looking at? Let's back that. This is a nice size. I can tell. It got a little cool. I put my hoodie on. Let's get you up close to the water. Let's get you up close to the action, man. Get you up close to the action. We're good at football without no action. Huh? Yeah. Get us in the action, man. Get us in the action. Okay. The ass man is leaving. You don't know. It's on for a hot run. Shit. Sure. Okay. Where we at, baby? Oh yeah, get in there. Ooh, shit. Way too close to the other side. Let's keep this tension on. There's so much line. All right, swivel. Oh, oh, really? What the heck? What the heck? Look at that one. That one uh is. That one has black in the mouth. Isn't that the one? It looks like a trout, but they say it's more of a salmon. See how it has the black in the mouth? But whatever it is, let's get him on. Man, man, I thought I had some for real, but it's the way he got hooked. All right, folks, this is hot rod. I'm gonna act like that's a big one. I'm gonna save him. That's a little one. All right, let me get back to it. Alright y'all, it's on. It's on again. Woo! Look at that.
that pole. Look how she acting. Oh, come on, man. Where the pole at? Dude, get the pole in the video. Come on. Let me get up here and slow this, this boat down. This baby is moving. Slow down, will you? All right. Let's keep tension on the pole. Tension on the pole. I thought I was going too fast. I was about 174. And all of a sudden, this baby jumped on. All right. Let's see where we at, y'all. All right. see where we at. Come on. Bring her in. Bring her in. Let's give her a little better video, man. Give me a little better video shot. Okay. Keep a little tension on this baby. Pick up the speed a little bit. I think that's how I'm losing them is by not keeping real tension on these fish. See, when I'm letting up. Oh, I think he let up right there. Right there he let up. Yeah, did he? I think he did. Did he? I felt a let up. Just when I gave that break, y'all. Let me see. Just when I gave that break, I think he got off. Yeah, he did. I don't feel, yeah, he did. Just a little bitty break. So they must not be getting caught up real uh, tight on this, you know, real hooked on this guy. So it's a little flicker for this pink guy. Let me get back at it. All right, this high rise shoulders, folks. Uh, hell, I thought I was stuck. I messed with the battery up front, it was showing low. And uh, I thought I got stuck. And this son of a gun hit to where I thought I was stuck. So when you're thinking that you're stuck and it hit, I don't know what the hell this is, but it was, it was coming in and then all of a sudden it started pulling. So we'll see um, what the heck I'm trying to get out of the water here. But it's gotta be large. I mean, because it was pulling like I was stuck. Um, and I thought I was going to break off. I had to cut off the front motor. And then as I was reeling in, it was coming in. So I'm under the impression, hell, um, at least it must have got unstuck. And now it started to fight. So right now it's coming in. Um, and this is an old reel, but my son found it and I uh, was able to recondition it. So I don't know what, what the heck is going on because it's coming in and it's not fighting much. So we'll see. If I'm just pulling your leg or what. I know I got this lead pour all over the place. It's not cheap line either. Show you how far I was out. And now it's out at least nine colors. I got the swivel. We'll see if, if it isn't a fish. It's sure coming in, folks, but let's see. Oh, what the hell is going on? Oh, 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 oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm trying to get this. I can give you a shot. Okay. All right, look. I'm gonna give you a shot. I'm gonna get it off. Oh, I'm gonna get my back up with me. Alright, it's a bass. Look at the size of that bass. That hit. Okay. That's what hit. I was like, what the heck? I thought I was stuck. But he hit me at low speed, is what he did. Alright, there got my buddy out there trolling. So that tells me I'm in the right location. That's him trolling across this area. Okay, let me get this guy off. All right, and you see I got my little cheat there, that little night crawler on the end. Okay, let's get him off, folks. Gentlemen, if you were to say hot rod, where are you at? I'd tell you, I don't know. I think I'm somewhere near what they call the island. Uh, so let's give you a shot, man, because I'm all out of my zone. This is way over here. Okay. So I'm up in this cove. I'm assuming this is what they call the island. Um, and I don't know if that over there 
is what they call the island. But I'm way out of my zone, man. This is, you know when they say get out of your zone? No, my zone is way back over there. So I'm way over here trolling, fishing with something that's called lead core. You say, what is that? They said there's lead in that line. Uh, I'm mostly all the way out. So this is 100 yards, 300 feet. And for every uh, 10 yards is going to be 6 feet down. So I'm about... Um, I said this, I'm nine colors out, so I, maybe I'm 50-something feet down. Um, there's a lot of fish in this area. I had to switch up on what I was fishing with, so we'll see, but I'm way over here, folks. Sort of nice and peaceful, but you have to be very careful because you're out here by yourself. Always have your life vest on because if you have an emergency, Remember, it, it's, it's going to hit you. It's not as if you have time like, oh, you know, like the Titanic, la la. No, no, it, it hit at that one time. Okay, so Hot Rod is going to troll in this area. And we'll see what happens. Look what, that looks like smoke, huh? That doesn't look like any clouds. Almost look like they have a fire back there. Yeah. Because look how clear the sky is. Um, unless they have, but I'm wondering if that's a fire. Up here at Pine Flat. Interesting. This looks a little crazy. A little suspicious. Bessie, see how nice and beautiful the sky is? And then you have that. All right. Okay, now you can see that better. That is a fire. And that's a major fire. Look at that. That would be up... Um, I'm at the first ramp, so that's way back close to Trimmer, I'm assuming. Um, but that is a fire. Major. Once it cleared, you can see it better. So, it's always good to be at the first round. But I've been here before when there was a major fire. The fire trucks were coming in and we were at Tremor and immediately I got out of the water because you know they start blocking roads dude you can be up there all week. But I'm at the first ramp so it's got a lot to burn for it to get the hot rod. Okay I'm still out here just trolling um, back in this area uh, and then what I'll do is, <clears throat> depending on, this area was hot this morning, but also there was an overcast. So I'm, uh, the fish were up higher. Um, a lot of them are a lot deeper now, so what I may end up doing is uh, moving to another spot. But giving you that shot there, folks. Yeah, that's what fireworks would do, that's for darn sure. At the wrong time of the year. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. November thirteenth, twenty twenty-three. It's a Monday. What is the update of uh, Pine Flat fishing? Pine Flat is on fire right now. I'm telling you, Pine Flat is a red hot. I kid you not. It is red hot right now. And you ought to see it. Believe me. That joke is red hot. And from the looks of things, and the way the wind is picking up, those men and women are going to have a long night. But I'm telling you, baby, it's red hot up here. As far as the fishing, this sort of died off since this morning. Once uh, the sun came out, I'm going to try trolling again. But right now, Pine Flat is red hot. All right, slow update. Remember what Harbor I said? 
wherever you see that old crazy bird, you know it's fish around. Because he ain't got time to be wasting time. Where you guys just be hanging out? No, uh-uh. When you out here, it's for real. It's a for real deal. So I know it's fish over there somewhere. That's what he doing. Yeah. See, that's how fishermen are. They don't even care if you're a bird. He like, what you over here for, man? You too close. All oh, that lake. You hear a nerd be coming by me? All right, man, I'm gonna leave you alone, Mr. Burr. Oh, peace out. All right, finally, 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 put this baby out here, started trolling, going in. Some jumped on it, finally. Some hit this baby. All right, let's see what hot rod then caught. About 40 feet deep, 928 feet of water. That's interesting. How did you come across 50? And now all of a sudden I'm in 28 feet of water. That don't make no doggone sense. You wonder about this lake. You really do. Alright. Even though it's 3.30, the sun is starting to dip. And you do not. I don't want to be coming out here in the dark. Dude, how was that far? Oh, what we got here, y'all. All right. What we got here. All right. Look at that monster. Whew. It's been a long day. And you could tell he had no business messing with that. Look at him. He ain't too much bigger than the lure. I'd have called a ranger on him. Miner. Got hooked on that stuff. That's why they tell you to stay away from that stuff, y'all. All right. Let me get him in the water, folks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. It's 346, but the sun is starting to drop behind the mountain. It's time to get off this lake. Um, it was a wonderful day. I mean, maybe six fish I caught. I was able to get four on video and not two. Um, and also I'll have an extra one where I came here October 30th and caught one fish. It was a full moon. There was a lot of fishermen on the lake and most of them didn't catch anything. They left real early. But I had only caught one fish that time and I'll display that also. But it was wonderful. It was not very cold. Uh, the wind did kick up in the end, but then eventually died down. I was going to troll in Deer Creek, but it's starting to get dark. It takes a little while for me to get off the lake, so um, I'll allow the speeders to get off first, and then I'll unload my boat and pull it off the lake. This is Hot Rod Shoulders. Remember, when you're on the lake and it's winter time, you're going to wear a lot of clothes. Always have your life vest on, because if you hit the water, the clothes are going to fill up real quick. You're going to need something that's going to help to give you a fighting chance. Also, winter fishing, you may be fishing by yourself. So you want to be prepared. Um, and we want to make sure that we always go home. It's been a wonderful year. We've had a wonderful year, folks. And let's do it again. Thank you. It's Hot Rod Showers. Be safe and take care. A shot of the river, y'all. Hey, it's back to normal. Looks like y'all can get back out there with your rubber boots. Yeah, it's back to normal. All right.